Hi, my name is Melissa Malfi. Um, I am here at the Royal Ontario Museum and I've been working here for the past four years. I started as a, um, an assistant technician in collections management, helping with uh, a collections move. And then I became a database technician because I love databases and museum collections can't really run without a functioning database. Um, so then from there I moved to um, the photography studio where I now help with the museum's digital assets. So we call our images, uh, video, audio, all of our, um, we call that our digital assets. So my, my title now is um, Digital Assets Coordinator. Um, and I, the main um, thing that I do is I help to um, collect and manage all of the images that our photographers take of our um, objects. So the ROM is going through a big digitization project at the moment. Um, so there's lots of images coming in, lots of new image creation happening. And um, the main thing that I'm helping to implement at the moment is a digital asset management system. So um, we have not really had one yet in the museum um, thus far, but we need to um, manage our, our assets in a way that the whole museum can access. So what I'm helping to implement uh, right now uh, is a new digital asset management system that the museum has never really had before. So the importance of that is to have a main central repository for all of the museum's media. So again, images mostly, but also video. We have a big video department and audio, um, which includes a lot of uh, interesting sound bites from the natural history collection that we have. We have like frog calls, bird, bird sounds, like all that stuff. We even have whale calls um, that was in our blue whale show. So we need a place to store all of that to make, that makes it accessible for everyone in the museum and then hopefully maybe eventually some of that can go public on our uh, e-museum which you can see our images are also public on there right now. But um, So without a dam, we call it a dam, and little do uh, does everyone in this room know what I'm the best dam coordinator in the museum? So, yeah. Um, I just had to throw that in. Uh, so it, it, we, that's what we need and so that's what I'm helping to, to implement. So, it, Are these yeah. digital assets considered a collection? I would, yes, they, they are considered a collection and that's why every collection needs a database. So um, digital assets need their own collection database, if you think about it that way. Okay. And this database connects to our object database as well. They will talk to each other, so if you're searching for media, you'll get the information that our collections database has, um, and they'll be talking to each other in a relational database sort of way, yeah. So like managing the data in the objects uh, database, there are data standards, et cetera, involved yeah. in asset management. Exactly. There are data standards that we're currently um, we're implementing and we're creating right now because, again, it's a new system entirely. So exactly, we have to have procedures, we have to have standards, and um, the, the most important aspect of our database, in the same way a collection database collects object data, we collect something called metadata, which is all of the, um, all of the information associated with the media. So who it was taken by, who shot it, um, when it was taken, how big it is, um, and then we have all sorts of other fields like who's in the photo, um, what are the tags on it, what's the accession number that it belongs to. So um, there's lots of stuff that we need to manage and we need a database to manage it. Thank you very much for taking the time today, Melissa. Bye.